Hey, Zach here in the ZMF shop. As usual, for a Can Jam, bunch of boxes back there. Can Jam's gonna be excited, it's our home show, Chicago. Uh, so I can bring some cooler stuff, you know? Like Air Mid here. Um, I got my Air Mountain somewhere around here. Yeah, let's jump in and just check out what we have for Can Jam Chicago. What was originally called the ZMF 19, let's get a better shot here. The ZMF 19, because I started working on it in 19. Sometimes I call it the portable ZMF. Don't have a name for it yet, but uh, probably a limited release this year. Um, and it's in the final stages now. And so it has this new chassis, these oval cups, 80 ohm drivers, 103 dB per milliwatt, somewhere around there. It's very easy to drive. You can drive it with um, you know any big amps, which I do think it scales quite well. Um, but it also can be driven with daps, which is you know one of the important things I wanted to make sure. I wanted a closed back, it was semi-portable. You can kind of see here, it has a 180 degree swivel. So we'll go flat on the table and we're gonna make a pretty portable case with it as well. It'll be a more singular SKU, just meaning there won't be as many options for it. But I'm really excited to show this at the show. It's finally ready to listen to. I found that low impedance drivers do better with the Harman uh, tuning than I think high impedance drivers do. Um, did a lot of tests back and forth with that. Similar to Harman with a little bit of a dark tilt in the uh, treble, because uh, that's my preference to not have the treble and three to six K area be quite as hot there. Also have made, went to Munich, met some awesome manufacturers. Uh, I'm gonna bring the Hollow May and Bliss. The Bliss is really awesome. Also gonna have the uh, Ferrum stack, the Wandila. So really excited to have this new solid state stuff. It pairs really well with the Caldera. The other one, the cool thing about the Hollow stack is it has um, different impedance, low Z, high Z. It's just really nice to have in that. Um, one thing we're also gonna have at Can Jam Chicago, and this is just the prototype, not this version, um, but we'll have the ZMF uh, JDS Labs amp. Um, and it'll have, we'll have the wood face plates and the final chassis. And you'll get a little more of a look at it. We're still making little tweaks to the aesthetic and everything, but very excited to show this. This is two watts per channel, four watts total, fully balanced design. Um, so you can see this is very prototypey. Summer of Burl is coming. Hot cup summer, summer of Burl. Let's go look at it. So yeah, I've been, as you know, I, I like to collect wood. And what I've been collecting for the last few years is different burls. Um, and so for the first time ever, we're gonna have brown Malay burl in limited quantities. This is an atrium closed cup. This will be July 9th is the release date for hot cup summer, summer of burl. And yeah, that's cool. We're also gonna have this walnut burl. Here it is in sanded form. Redwood burl, maybe the lightest wood and weight that we've ever done at ZMF. Here's the next limited edition for the Otor Classic, which is curly European ash. I'm gonna do the Shusugi bond on that. Have a little, that really neat burnt effect to the grain. So check this out. This is the, that's the Redwood burl finished. Very, this is a so lightweight, it feels almost like, like a marshmallow, a marshmallow of wood, like just air puffed. But it's beautiful with that grain. And the grit, and Redwood Burl has just eyes everywhere. That kind of what people think of when they think of Burl, those, those little dots, which I think is, is gonna be really nice. Um, and then of course, we're gonna have Camphor Burl in the different models. Here's an Aeolus, a good favorite. Here's one that will become a uh, caldera. Here's a unfinished atrium in the camphor burl. Two different looks there. 
Um, so here's some cups just sprayed. A couple of some of these will make it into uh, can jam. Really nice purple caldera right there. And we will have only at shows until November a few sets of atrium resin or stabilized. In the measurement room here. Oh, you can see it's still up. Here's a uh, measurement of the semi portable ZMF. And you can see I have it on the 711 coupler, the uh, audio precision over here, 711 coupler, so that it'll match you know, the way the Harman target curve was done. And you can see the Harman target curve done there. So the green line is the portable ZMF, semi-portable ZMF. And then the dotted line is the Harman target. I do not adhere, I, again, to the Harman target for everything in any headphone or any impedance. But uh, this is what I'm finding worked really well for this guy. Just kind of a slightly dark tilt. Finished brown Malay burl. Finishing these with a hard wax oil so that you can really see the grain on these, which is just beautiful. This has a really nice feel, almost like olive wood, kind of silky smooth. Special can jam resin atrium clothes sets. And then over here, you can see here's a summer of burl crotch slash walnut burl. Got a different kind of character to the burl, which is really cool. Um, Really excited to uh, bring all the gear we're bringing. It's always exciting to, uh, to have the home show. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys there. And um, you know, if you listen to the portable ZMF and have any thoughts on it, this is your chance to, uh, before release, probably the, the one time I'll do this, to give some you know, public feedback on the portable ZMF and let us know what, how you think it's going. All right, see you guys later. See you at Can Jam or somewhere else and have a good one.